Hey guys, this is Tom from Tom's Interesting Talk and today we're going to take this whole chicken and I'm going to turn it into an eight piece. I'm going to show you how to cut this chicken up and then I'm going to show you how to bone this chicken out. I'm going to show you how to take the skin off this chicken and totally take the bones out of this chicken. The only thing that we're not going to take the bone out of and take the skin off is the wings today because I want some good old fashioned chicken wings deep fried. All right, so let's get into this thing. So today we're going to use just our Cuisinart, you know, just our six inch, just regular kitchen, you know, just regular knife, just a basic average Joe knife for cutting this chicken up. You really don't need anything special. You know, we don't need a large butcher knife really. We don't need just a basic knife just to get this thing broke down. It's amazing. You know, we always tend to want to use, you know, the biggest knife, the best knife, or whatnot, but you really just don't need it. You just need a sharp knife to do any sort of butchery. Um, I'm going to put a little edge on this thing real quick just to make sure it's nice and sharp so we go through the bones and the joints of this chicken nice and easy. Let's just bust this out real quick. Now it's got to get a nice little edge on it. Make sure that thing is razor sharp so that we can get through this chicken real easy. Chicken by nature, the bones in the chicken are not very hard. It's more like a cartilage. It's um, they're kind of a soft bone, so you don't need a lot of pressure to get through a chicken bone, but it is what it is. First things first, we got to get the guts out of this chicken. So the first thing you want to do before you do anything to a whole frying chicken is it's going to come with livers and gizzards and a little heart right in the in this you know this little area right underneath the breast right underneath the breastbone. Um, you can have liver, gizzards, heart, and then you're also in the back here. You're going to have there's a neck in here as well. But now I don't see one in this in this whole frying chicken today. So first things first is we're going to take off the wings. If you feel right, if you feel right in here, you can feel there's a joint right there. So we're just going to make a little cut, just a little tiny cut right there, and then you can already see the joint that I need to go through. There's the joint and you're just going to we're just going to slide through this joint and slide right up underneath um, the roundness of the end of that bone and it's just going to come right off. Voila! There's your chicken, there's your chicken wing um, and it's ready to go. And that's a whole chicken wing with the wing tip, the drumette and the wingette. So later on, what we'll do is we'll split this drumette winget and we'll also take off the wing tip. But we'll do that in a little bit. Let's get the other one. So right here again, you know, there's a little space right here. You just want to split into there. And then a lot of times you can just pop the joint. And there's, and there's the little bone that we're looking for and the joint that we're going to be trying to go through. So see that right there? So we're just going to go down and around that, that chicken joint, and there you go. There's another whole wing. Let's flip this bad boy back over. And you see this nice, this weird skin right here? You know, we're just going to nip a little of that skin on each side. And then we're going to take both sides, and we're just going to pop. There's, if, you, if you feel right here, you can actually feel the joints that we're going to pop out of place. And I'm going to do that from underneath here. And I'm going to show you on this one side. So you pop it. You see how that pops up right there? Well, this is where we're going to slice through to take off that thigh off of uh, off the side of the carcass. And there, let's just uh, pop this again. All I'm doing is I'm applying pressure underneath the thigh and pushing down towards um, the cutting board with the drumstick. And we're popping out that little joint right there. Voila, easy stuff. So once you have that done, all you're going to do now is you're basically just going to follow this, see this meat right here? We're just going to follow that and we're going to try to stay as close to the, um, the bone as possible and we're going to go right through that joint. See where that joint was? And then this is what we, we cut through. And then this is going to be your thigh right here and then your drumstick. And we're going to separate all that in just a moment. So let's do this other side. You see how we have our joint popped out? In this situation, we're going to need to come from over here. 
just like that. And you're just, just trying to follow that chicken, just follow it down and go right through where that nub was. And there you go, thigh drumstick. Um, to, take, to take this backbone off, it's pretty simple, honestly. Remember, like I said, um, chicken bones are very, very soft, and you can slice a lot of the times right through them with just a little bit of pressure from your knife and just a semi-sharp knife. Um, you see this little fat that runs along here, that fat line? Well, that's a good indicator of the way you need to slice when you're trying to take this backbone off. Um, I'm going to slice all the way down, basically to down here, and then we're going to pop another joint. I'm going to show you how to get the knife through that joint, but honestly, you really don't even need to because you can just basically twist that, this bone right out of those joints. All right, let's get at it. So you see your fat right here. We're going to slide right down there. Hear all those bones cracking, cracking. And then right down here, here, see how that's popped? Well, there's a joint there and there's a joint there. Now, a lot of the times you can just twist this thing and pop it off. You can also just take your knife and voila, just like that, right through both joints at the exact same time. Um, and then there you go. This is your backbone. This is what you're gonna make chicken stock out of. Um, this, you know, you can't do any better than natural chicken stock. Um, you know exactly what salts you're putting in it. You know exactly what you're going to be putting in that stock. And there's no surprises when you're making your own stock at home and you're cutting it off whole frying chicken um, that you're going to do something else with. And I think it's a great way to use this whole animal um, in a holistic way. So now, now we're going to be looking at this breast. So this is the full breast. Um, of course, we're just going to be taking off this skin. And as you can see, the skin is really floppy on here. You really don't need to do much. You can just peel the skin right off, just like that, basically. And it just comes right off with, with, without even having to do anything with the knife. Um, I'm going to trim up just a little bit of this stuff here. And then what you're going to do, this bone, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's really, really soft. Like you can almost, you can almost break it in half yourself, but, but to get this, but to get to this um, breastbone split in half, you just basically need to make a notch right here. There's a really little piece, there's a piece of cartilage right there that allows you to be able to split right through that bone um, with, with a lot of ease. Hear that? And then if you just, or, you know, if you're not able to do that with one thrust like I did, you can take your hand and kind of push down on that bone all at the same time and pull through and you'll cut it in you know, you'll get it all cut off there as well. Okay, so now we have two breasts, two drumsticks and thighs, and two wings. All right, let's finish off our eight piece. Let's split the drumstick from the thigh. Here again, remember we showed you the little fat layer to be able to take the backbone off of the breast. Here again, there's another little fat line to indicate where the joint is. If you feel in there, you can feel that there's a little split and you can almost just get your nail through it really. Um, and, you know, and that's where you're basically going to run your knife through. Now you see how this line is going this way? You know, you don't want to go this way. You're going to cut into that thigh too much. You want to basically go right along that line. See that? And all that. And voila, there's your drumstick. And then there's your skin on, bone in thigh. Let's do it again. There's your fat layer. You want to feel in there for the indention or a place where you basically get your nail into. And that's where you're going to run your knife through. Voila, just like that. And then there's your eight piece, just like that. You got your two wings, your two thighs, your two drumsticks, and your two breasts. And that is an eight piece chicken. Super simple, super easy. It's not going to cost you extra money. This whole thing cost me $1.46 a pound. And, you know, if you think about uh, chicken nuggets, even McDonald's, you know, an order of 10 piece order of chicken nuggets at McDonald's is, God, it's 10, what is it, $7.99, $8.99? It's expensive, you know, and that's just one 10 piece. We're going to make a, God, we're going to make probably two or three of those out of this batch alone. 
And then if you turn this backbone and fat into a nice chicken stock, boy, that's gonna, it's just another cost saving, cost effectiveness that you can use by, by using this whole chicken and saving yourself money plus also using something very, very natural for your family and nothing processed. This is straight up chicken, no, horm no hormones, no injections, you know, no weirdness to it, and you're feeding your family uh, a nice, fresh, good meal. Okay, let's get into the next part. Remember, I told you we we're gonna bone this thing out. We're also gonna take the skin off. Well, we've also we've already taken the skin off uh, the breasts, and so now all we have is just this little bit of breast bone. Um, there's a piece. There's a piece of that bone here. And then a little piece of bone here and also this little tiny um, round bone as well or this little tiny bone as well right there um, I like to get in here and if you feel this bone right here you can get right up underneath that bone and then you can just kind of follow those bones all along that side you see how you got a little line here just get yourself a little line going along that breastbone and voila and that is that is it that is the whole thing right there and there's one little tiny bone which is part of the wish bone um, that's stuck in the breast that connects all that together and there's your wish bone um, you know that can go into your stock as well there's meat and there's bone there there you go you have a boneless chicken breast ready to be cut up for chicken nuggets voila so let's do that again right up underneath this bone I like to just go right up underneath all that, all that stuff. Pull that out, run that along there, just like that. There's that. There's that wishbone. You see it? There's the wishbone right there. Now I'm going a little bit backwards because uh, I'm left-handed, and that's the long and the short of it. There it is. No meat, no nothing. And right there, so if you ever have an idea or ever question where your tender comes from, that is your chicken tender right there. That's it. That's the chicken tender. You're good to go. And there's the chicken tender on this piece as well. And we can pull it right off there. So when you're in the grocery store and you're looking at a package of chicken tenders it comes right off the bottom of that breast um, it's a very nice piece of meat because honestly it doesn't get very much movement because it sits up underneath that bone um, and it is a very very nice little piece of meat in my opinion um, you know you want to go through here make sure you've gotten all the bone off of it kind of run your fingers through here um, don't be afraid of meat you can always wash your hands you can always wash this block you know the bacteria isn't going to affect you that's on this chicken you know it's just it's just not. So don't be afraid of meat. Meat's, meat's good. Meat's our friend. We need these proteins. We need these healthy fats that are coming out from this meat um, to, to have a nice healthy body. Okay, let's move on to the next. So there's our two breasts. There's our two tenderloins. And now let's start with these thighs. So the thighs, again, we're just going to kind of just pull that, pull the skin off. You really just don't need to do anything, you guys. If you really get in here, you'll feel um, that that the that the skin just falls right off. Chicken thighs are kind of a kind of a tough one, in my opinion. I mean, they're because they're, there's just not a lot of meat to the thigh, and I just like to start just working my way around this bone just ever so slightly um, to get that bone out of there. And you're just trying to make sure you get as much meat as you possibly can off of this thing. Um, chicken is a bit slimy too, unfortunately. Oh wow, there's a little boneless chicken, boneless, little boneless chicken thigh, just like that. Cut a little of this stuff off that might be left. Throw that in our little pile, and there you go. There's a little boneless chicken thigh that we're gonna make into some nice chicken nuggets here in a minute. Let's start getting into this next one. Again, there's the bone right there. You're just trying to get your knife right up against that bone. Um, you see the bone? It's kind of like a bone off of a, you know, off of a drumstick, and you just want to work your way around it. You know, I left a little more meat on that than I'm supposed to, but 
Um, it kind of is what it is. It all can't be perfect. And it don't have to be perfect. That's the cool part about doing this stuff at home in your own kitchen. You know, your own nice skills. Just be careful not to cut yourself and you'll be fine. Hold on, just like that. Let's take this off of here. And there you go. You feel in there, there's no bone, there's no nothing. And there's another little boneless thigh. Here's your drumstick. Again, we're just gonna yank this, yank the skin right off of that thing. There's just, uh, just not much holding that skin on your chicken, unfortunately. Um, and again, the same concept with trying to bone out a drumstick as trying to bone out a thigh. And now I'm gonna split it down to that bone and then we're just going to start working around this bone. And that's kind of the long and the short of it. You know, it's a little difficult. It takes a minute. you got to kind of work it, you know. Um, it's not a perfect science in my opinion. Um, those guys that can bone out a whole chicken without, you know, even um, all in one piece, those guys are experts. They do this stuff all the time. Even me as a professional butcher, I don't cut too many whole chickens up anymore. Um, so there's another, there's your meat off of your drumstick and that's what you got left. Let's do it again. Right here, there's your bone. Here's your other bone. We're just gonna try to get down the best we can to our bone here in the middle. And then we're gonna start working our way around it. Drumstick is a pretty hard, it's a pretty hard little piece of meat to try to try to bone out. But you know, I can tell you, dark meat um, is some of the best tasting meat when it comes to the chicken, the thighs, and the drumsticks. The dark meats tend to have a little more fat and you know, a little more tastiness to it. And uh, these these this, these dark meat pieces are going to make excellent little chicken nuggets, and they're going to have a lot of flavor. Um, and even a lot, a, little, a lot more flavor than the breast, than the breast and the tenderloin. Okay, here's our trusty little chicken wing, and they're going to dad. I'm deep frying these chicken, these chicken wings, and these are going to be for me. Or this is the wingette, this is the drumette, and this is the wing tip. Um, and there is a little joint, just like with all this stuff, that you can actually put your finger there and feel it. Um, and you basically got to go right through it. You'll see there's the joint and um, if, once you put your finger in there you'll actually feel where that joint is. And then once again, right here, you can feel the joint. If you run your finger across there and you see that little bubble right there, basically right on the other side of that bubble, all off. And then there's your, there's your wingette and then there's your drumette. So let's do it again. Get the wing tip Feel for your little joint, or you see that little nub right there, you're basically cutting right through that little nub. Um, again, give it a feel, see where your joint is. There's your little nub right there, I don't know if you can see it or not. And go right through the nub, and you're ready to go. Drum it, wing it, for deep frying. Voila! This is how you cut up a whole frying chicken. This is how you bone out the breast, the tenderloin, the thighs, and the drumsticks. This is how you make an eight piece out of a whole frying chicken. This is how you make chicken stock out of whole frying chicken. We're gonna make multiple meals out of this one whole frying chicken, and it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna feed our family holistically from a natural chicken. Voila, there you go. Okay, in our next little segment, we are going to feature the cowboy cook himself, Kent Rollins. Um, he came up with what I call, or what he called, a crispy onion ring, or the crispiest onion ring. So we're gonna use his crispiest onion ring batter, and we're gonna make the crispiest chicken nuggets. Focused, or um, featured from 
Kent Rollins, so the cowboy cook himself, Kent Rollins, um, how to make the crispiest onion ring. But we're going to make the crispiest chicken nuggets. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. We appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. That's what make us, makes it all go around. You know how to do it. Push that like button. Push that subscribe button. Let's get it.